Good morning. Happy Saturday. Um, I decided to grab the camera this morning. I have a lot to share with you guys, but currently I am actually on my way to a fitness class. It has been a weird couple of days, couple of weeks. I don't know. Um, and last night was a little rough. And I was like, you know what? I could sit around and sulk all day or I can get up and do something for myself. Um, and I have been wanting to get fit and get right in the gym and be disciplined with that for a while now. And um, a guy at my church um, has a fitness LLC and he has classes on Mondays and Saturdays and Saturday is today. <laughs> and I've been saying I was gonna go to his class for a long time, but never did. And so by a long time, I mean probably a couple weeks maybe a couple months um and yeah his class is at 10 it's currently 9 38 and i don't know if i should, i can't fill this up because i don't have enough filtered water ready to go but yeah i'm getting my water i'm gonna go ahead and tie my shoes up get my coat on and i guess i'm taking you all with me but i may record on my phone I don't know, this is my first time at this class, so I don't want to be the weird girl with the camera. Um, but I'm just going to take you all with me throughout today. Like I said, I have some things to share with you guys, and um, I don't really know how this day will unfold. I do have to sing this weekend at church. So, uh, we'll be headed to church this evening. So yeah, I'm just going to take you guys with me throughout my day and kind of fill you in. So I should try to put words to the things that are in my head throughout my day. So let me fill up my water bottle, and let's get on the road to this fitness class. Why is it freezing out here? Some of the days this week it was kind of warm, almost like spring warm. But oh my gosh, it's freezing. So I'm going to look on um, the Instagram page for uh, the trainer to see if I can get some footage of the class today. I did see him taking some video. But I didn't get any footage because I almost died. And I don't know why I'm emotional about it. Like, I don't know. I'm very emotional about it. Um, it is a hard class, so... Um, you know, they were given credit and stuff, but there was a lot that I couldn't do. At one point, I felt like I was going to pass out, and I don't think I've ever felt like that while exercising. Um, like, I really had to sit down and take a drink of water because it was a mix between I'm going to throw up or I'm going to pass out. Um, 
I don't know why that is making me emotional. I don't know why that is making me emotional, but it is. Even now, I feel like I could throw up. Like, I'm probably going to end up throwing up. And I know we have to start somewhere, but, like, I think I'm just in denial in a couple ways that I am as out of shape as I am. Um, because of my height and because of the fact that, like, for my height, you can't necessarily tell. Like, I, I don't look necessarily overweight. So people don't assume that I'm this out of shape. But I am. And um, honestly, I think maybe I'm emotional because it's kind of a metaphor for my life. <laughs> people look at my accomplishments and my job and, you know, how I'm, I try to be positive on the outside. I think people look at that and assume that I'm good. <sighs> and this is why mental health is so important and why... It catches people by surprise because you have no idea. Like, people say that all the time, but you really have no idea what goes on for a person. Like, you just, you just don't know. This is why we have to be kind because because I feel like this is a season of hard things. And you would think that my dissertation and my PhD was a season of hard things. Sorry, I'm also vlogging on my phone because my camera battery died. But you would have thought that PhD in grad school and college was a season of hard things, and it was. But, like, I think I was looking for a break, a rest, a whatever, and it just feels like life transition has amped up ten times the amount of hard things that I have to endure. And it has taken a toll on my body. I am not healthy. I am not disciplined when it comes to taking care of myself. I am always at the bottom of the list. And it showed up today in this class. I think that's why I'm emotional. Because being fit and active, I was never like a gym rat or anything like that. But I was okay. But, like, my body aches a lot. My knees ache a lot. And, like, today I do a fit class and almost literally pass out. So I'm going to marinate on this and probably throw up. <laughs> probably cry. I think I need a good cry. And then I'll, um, I don't know. I don't know where the rest of this vlog is going to go, but... I just had to document this moment because I have a lot of thoughts. I probably need to journal because this was hard. Okay. I'm still sitting here with my gym clothes on, but I have an hour um, to be at the church, which means I need to leave in like 45 minutes. So I'm about to get in the shower, get my life together. I just got done watching um, The Tinder Swindler. I'd actually started it 
previously, maybe like last week, but I fell asleep on it. And I watched the end and I just was, that is not how I thought it was gonna end. If you've seen Tender Swimmer, then you know. I had no idea that that's how that was gonna end. I'm not gonna state my opinion about everything in the video because somebody's gonna clock me. But all I'm gonna say is that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get in the shower. Um, speaking of that, I don't know if I should show you in this current, no, I won't show you, but I did cut my hair this week. I most definitely did. Um, I talked a little bit about it in a video that I recorded before I went in to, um, to get my hair cut. About two hours ago, I got really frustrated with my hair as I have been for a minute now. Um, and was just like, why am I doing this? And I uh, make a habit out of <laughs> panicking my YouTube audience with random last minute decisions about my hair. The last time I big chopped um, my hair super short, I didn't tell you guys. Um, it was a surprise and that was 2020. And I just don't feel like my short hair time really got to live its full life. This is why I'm on here looking a little bit crazy. <laughs> for the video um forgive me it'll be fine in a minute at least i'm hoping so um i totally this was spur of the moment so i just went with a barber that i found online that had good reviews so i'm maintaining fingers crossed that this will go well but anywho um i've been going back and forth for a minute i started growing my hair out well really i just stopped getting it cut i was not really up on the cuts anyway when i was short in 2020 mainly because it was pandemic life and so going to the salon and the barbershop was like still not really a thing like people were still closed and things like that and I just I wasn't thirsty enough to try to beat down the doors of those who were open and still cutting so I didn't really keep my hair cut I would go like sometimes three four months in between uh cuts so I think that also contributed to me like not really falling in love super hard with my haircut season because I didn't get to experience it. My hair grows very fast. So I'm really gonna have to stay up on this and do um, like at least once a month a cut. I think when I first went natural back in 2013, it was like really exciting. And so this amount of hair on my head and just seeing my curl pattern was like, ah, oh, like, you know, I was exploring, I was doing all these fun styles and all these things. If you haven't seen those videos, go check those out. I talked a lot about that when I first started my YouTube channel, but yeah, it was just a fun time. And now I'm just in a different season of life where I'm like, I don't wanna sit down for hours doing Banshee knots every night or every other night or trying to figure this out. Like, I just don't. This in-between phase is annoying. I hate the length that my hair is. I can't, like, look how I wanna look um, on camera. I'm not a fan of my look right now. So, I'm giving myself another round of short haircuts. I don't know how long this will last, but it probably will last for a little while. I wanna explore, have some fun, do some fun colors. Um, I was even kind of picturing like, I wonder if I would relax my hair at one point. Cause while it's short, my hair literally, it grows fast enough to where if I relaxed it, um, to do like a pixie or some kind of shortcut like that, I'm sure I could grow it out in no time. But I don't know guys, I'm about to just have some fun. I don't even really care right now. I just want to have a short style that I don't have to work hard for. I can literally put a do-rag on, go to bed, wake up, and have hair already done, spritz of water, maybe a little styling foam, and we're good to go. I'm just so looking forward to that. I am so looking forward to it. I'm on my way up the door, so I'm not gonna be late. 
don't mind the other shoes and things <laughs> for me figuring out what I was gonna wear. I'm wearing this corduroy-ish top. I like it buttoned all the way up. I don't know, something about that with the short haircut is giving what it's supposed to give. I got my jewelry on from Annalisa. Got my jeans and my forces that are, I'm assuming they're pink. They also come off like khaki, but my brother got me these for Christmas, my little brother. So that's the fit. Got the fresh curls going from the fresh wash. It's probably blurry. I have my in ears. Left them in another purse that was almost bad. <laughs> Definitely in my back pocket. So embarrassing. <sighs> okay, we're not quite late. Definitely not early, but not late. All right, OCM. Let's do this. Okay, we'll go to bed. It's an hour so you can get some rest, okay? Yeah. bottom it felt great it actually felt really great um about to get in the bed I actually wanted to get in the bed a little earlier but um it's okay to be at church at 7 15 tomorrow for a sound check so I just wanted to get in the bed a little earlier it is currently 11 25 so it's not terrible my alarm will go off at 5.55 a.m. That's exciting. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I just, uh, I guess I wanted to chat with you guys. I am um, no longer in therapy, so I know I just told you all I was able to find a counselor, but I actually ended up having to withdraw from counseling. And the main reason is because um, I... I did not understand my healthcare benefits uh, when I signed up for counseling and come to find out that the deductible is super high and I would have to basically spend $1,000 um, on counseling before my insurance would even help me with my with the price of my sessions. And full transparency, I don't got that right now. Um, I, just, I just don't. So um, I withdrew from counseling. Um, ended up having to pay for the sessions that I did have, which it's kind of sad because in grad school I had all this free counseling. I don't remember ever having to pay for counseling, but I guess they said you're no longer a student, you don't have mental health problems anymore. Not thinking about the fact that actually the mental health struggles from grad school linger beyond that and actually the prime time to have support for mental health would be transitioning out of grad school or college in general. But it's cool. So, um, I was really upset about that. Really, really upset. Cried for a couple days straight. Um, but I'm now at the point where I'm just, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to, um, I don't know what I'm going to do actually, you guys. I think today was a good step in the right direction, which was to get my physical health in order. Um, I'm excited to start attending that class and um, see how that assists with my mental health and just making some other small changes and hopefully I see some changes there um, with my mental health as a result of those life changes and just taking care of myself more. Um, yeah, I just, I have to. It's getting to a point where I'm just really not in a good space and I can't just neglect um where I am. But the first step is acknowledgement and I acknowledge it and I am planning to do something about it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. My battery is blinking at me and it's about to die. So I'm about to get in the bed and go to sleep. I'm really excited for church tomorrow. Church is really the 
main thing that has been keeping me going. Every weekend I just feel so at peace and I get filled with so much joy. And my goal is to um, let that linger on and, and get me through the week as well. Because right now it just feels like on the weekends I'm at a high and then during the week I'm at a low and that roller coaster is doing a number on me. Um, so yeah, full transparency, that's what's going on over here. Um, instead of trying to hide this from you all, I think I'm just gonna vlog through it and you all can see my journey to better. Um, really hoping for that for me. So, I love you all, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Night night.